The Raleigh man says the deed to his home was taken from him. The deed no longer in his name, despite the man owning the home and still living there with his wife. Our I-Team troubleshooter Diane Wilson is here now. Diane, this is just a really wild story, and, and we're all left wondering how it could even happen. You know, so crazy, and shockingly, the owner says this all happened just by someone going to the Wake County Register of Deeds with some paperwork claiming ownership, and the deed is now in their name. I'm left the victim, and there's no recourse. So it's just a tough spot to be in. A tough spot to be in for Craig Adams, the owner of this beautiful 8,300 square foot home in North Raleigh. He does have it listed for sale, but has lived in it for the last four years, paying the mortgage and property taxes. But he just discovered the deed to his home, no longer in his name. Instead, it lists a complete stranger. Found out that she had filed a, a false warranty claim deed against this house, basically trying to steal this home. She being someone named Don Mangum. Craig only learned about Mangum getting the deed in her name after the property management company for his HOA asked if he sold his home as Mangum contacted the management company to get gate access since Craig's home sits in a private gated community. This paperwork filed with the Wake County Register of Deeds Office signed by Mangum states Craig Adams as a debtor along with Don Mangum Estate. And Wake County approved the deed transfer to Don Mangum Trust. Craig went to the Wake County Register of Deeds to question how this happened. There's no effort to authenticate the validity of the change of deed. Nobody verifies the notary. Nobody verifies who owns the house that's trying to be transferred to a different owner. Craig says once he proved he's the owner of the home and Don Mangum has no stake in it, the deed still stays in Don Mangum estate. They say there's absolutely nothing they can do to reverse this once it's filed. Their only solution is, is that I have to go hire a private attorney. And the first quote I got was about $8,000 to file a civil suit against this woman. A representative for Wake County says under North Carolina law, the Register of Deeds is not required to verify the legal validity of a deed when it is presented for registration, nor are they required to verify the credentials or legal standing of the notary or drafter of the document. She adds as soon as they became aware of the fraudulent deed, it alerted the tax administration office that no tax information for the property should be changed. A representative also said because a deed has been recorded, the Register of Deeds office does not have the authority under North Carolina state law to remove the document from the record without a court order. This is the biggest concern is the citizens of Wake County are so, we're so vulnerable. Anybody, I could go down and put this warranty deed, find out where you live, and I could presumably take ownership of your house. It's that easy. I reached Mangum on the phone who said everything was done by law as she thought the property was in foreclosure. And she believes by law you can claim an abandoned property. She texted me, my thing is not to take anyone's home, but to find abandoned property and restore it. But once she learned the property isn't in foreclosure, she said she stopped all paperwork. She added she'd like to return the ownership to Craig and claims the paperwork will be amended. As for Craig, he said the foreclosure noted on the for sale listing was a mistake and was corrected. He will now have to hire an attorney and bring this before a judge to hear the case. In the meantime, he hopes his frustrating ordeal prompts change. There has to be state legislature laws that come down the register of deeds, authenticate the document, authenticate the signature, authenticate who owns it. Now, Craig did also file a police report and the Wake County Sheriff's Department confirms they're actively investigating this case and the Register of Deeds office says they're working with investigators. So the big question is, how do you prevent this from happening to your property? Check with the County Register of Deeds in your area and you can sign up for free fraud alerts. You won't be notified until after anything is recorded that involves your name, but at least you will be notified and could stop even more fraud. Wake County does offer the free fraud alerts, which of course I have already signed up for yeah. <laughs> story, along with my parents. But I mean, what a crazy case. You're that. saying there's nothing stopping anyone from going to the register of deeds and saying, I own this property when it's all a scam. And that's why Craig is now pushing lawmakers, already reaching yeah. out to lawmakers. And so yeah. we will too wow. to see if hopefully they can make changes in the North Carolina law.